At a conference examining the challenges and solutions for the growing Asia-Pacific economies, NUS Business School Dean Bernard Jung observed that the center of gravity in the world economy is moving toward Asia. That may lead some to conclude that Asia's growth highlights the superiority of the government-directed growth model, but he says that's not the full story. The government-directed growth model that many Asian economies have relied on in the early stage of development is not likely to work as they move up the economic ladder. Where governments were the visible coordinating hands in the past, they would now need to be the nurturing hands of the economies and of the market. The key challenge for Asian governments is managing the transition. Indeed, he says economies that rely on the coordinating hand model for too long can end up with cronyism and stagnation. But once governments have built the framework for a stable economy, they play a crucial role in jump-starting growth. They can do that through effective resource allocation, not enumerating what resources to give to whom, but rather encouraging innovation via capital markets. Asia has to develop a mature consumption market built on informed and safe consumers. Equally important, it has to inculcate a strong sense of fiduciary responsibilities and build trust between savers and users of capital. Which he said later is something that doesn't happen all at once. We cannot say uh, that here is the time, here is not the time. We need to keep in mind that um, we need to gradually develop and empower our consumer and our investors. Singapore is one place, he says, that is well along in that transition, with its super connectivity and compactness making it a place where innovators can generate and implement ideas. But he cautions there is not a one-size-fits-all solution. The transition is context-dependent and should vary from one location to another. However, if both the government and big business are willing to relinquish the dominant driver's seat and empower common people based on basic principles like I, those I just described. People will support policy reforms and together we can produce sustainable and inclusive growth. For the NUS Business School, I'm Katie Sargent.